Hey hey Shaggers, Hansen here. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, Hoi4 is way too easy and runs way too smoothly. If only there was a mod that added a bunch of complex mechanics and made my computer sound like a jet engine. Uh, you've never thought that? Well, do I have the mod for you? Welcome to Millennium Dawn, a mod that lets you experience the complexity of modern geopolitics by moving squares around the map. Millennium Dawn starts off in everyone's favorite year, 2000. And unlike base game Hoi4, that only lets you play as Germany and this country's being invaded by Germany, Millennium Dawn lets you play as over 100 countries, including global superpowers such as Fiji and Estonia. Millennium Dawn also features a hyper-advanced economy system that puts Victoria 3's economy system to shame. Something I absolutely adore about Millennium Dawn's top-of-the-line economy system is that it doesn't just let you witness the Argentine economic collapse, it lets you experience it. Oh, hold on, I think I'm getting a phone call. Uh, hello? Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. Huh. Unlike base game Hoi4 that's only meant to go on until you're bored of map painting, Millennium Dawn is meant to go on until 2025, which means that the average focus tree is big. Really big. On top of these gargantuan focus trees, Millennium Dawn also has a habit of running very slowly because of how many countries are on the map, which means that you might be able to finish the entirety of War and Peace before you even get to 2005. Don't worry though, in order to make the sluggish experience that is playing Millennium Dawn just slightly more bearable, a group of very talented modders created the Millennium Anime mod. So now instead of staring at Fernando de la Rua for seven and a half hours, you can stare at a super kawaii cat girl instead. Instead. Why are y'all staring at me like that? Just like Victoria 2, Millennium Dawn features an influence system. But unlike Victoria 2, Millennium Dawn's influence system lets you puppet the countries that you influence. This system can easily be exploited if you play as a country that makes a shit ton of money thanks to the fact that investing into factories and infrastructure gives you a tiny bit of influence. Which means that, hypothetically, I could play as Japan and invest every dollar I make into the United States of America. On top of building factories in the US, I could also hypothetically spend every single political powerpoint I make into influencing the US, which could hypothetically lead to me having the US as my puppet by 2001. I swear to fucking god, who's calling me this time? Did you know Hoi 4's average monthly player count is about 32,000 people? Not 5,000 shy of the 27,000 soldiers that participated in the US's 1989 invasion of Panama. What the fuck? Millennium Dawn, just like base game Hoi 4, has a combat system. This combat system is near identical to the vanilla combat system with two small changes. The first change is that in Millennium Dawn, APCs and IFVs are treated as if they were tanks because the dev team wanted you to be able to design your own APCs and your own IFVs with the help of the tank designer. This means that with the power of the tank designer, you can make your APCs and IFVs stronger than tanks. The second change that Millennium Dawn makes is actually the entire air combat system because Millennium Dawn unlike base game Hoi 4, has modern fighter jets and jet bombers. Which means that in Millennium Dawn, your planes are faster, have more range, and use up more fuel. And thanks to the update that Millennium Dawn got while I was recording this video, you also get a plane designer. Now in order to properly demonstrate Millennium Dawn's combat system, here at the Hansen Attic Institute of Science, we have decided to send one of our brave researchers into the 2017 scenario to play as Syria and to attempt oh, to win the Civil War. This? While he's over there having fun oh, actually playing God. the game, well, I'll be over here reading and answering the questions that you all left in the comments of my last video because I told you to ask me questions for future time-lapse segments. In case you haven't noticed, this whole bit is just an excuse for me to add a time-lapse into this review. Enjoy! What's up guys, another video, another time-lapse, and today's time-lapse we have a few questions. Also, as you can see there, uh, the Syrian Civil War, very easy, just a bunch of green bubbles, because if you get air superiority and CAS, uh, then you can't be stopped in Millennium Dawn, because for some fucking reason, CAS does like 200 damage average so for the first question we've got is how many lithuanians have you met in your entire life and the answer is zero i'm not european and i've never been to lithuania or anywhere where lithuanians would be second question is what is my racial and ethnic background and what are my favorite all right so my favorite race definitely has to be the monaco gp like come on the monaco gp that's just a classic race all around i don't think anyone really dislikes it and uh, as for my racial and ethnic background, uh, I'm white, and that's really all I can say. I'm white, and uh, yeah, what the, what the fuck do you want me to answer? All right, next question 
is if I woke up as a middle-aged Bulgarian woman, what was the first thing I would do? Well, the first thing I would do in that scenario is I would get out of bed and I would go fucking find the copper wires underground to try and make some fucking cash, right? I mu you gotta know that Bulgarian grind set. So look at that nice encirclement I just got in Syria. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that city name because I will butcher it. But yeah, again, Syrian civil war, very easy in the 2017 scenario. Uh, maybe they should start working on the 2017 scenario again instead of adding useless shit to the 2000 scenario huh all right next question is uh how many fish can i fit in a tank well in my tank specifically i can fit up to four fish right now i've got two in there planning on getting another two for it in the future and then uh another question is how many hours do i have in hoi four you seem to be quite good at it I i'm dog shit at hoi four first of all all right i gotta set the record straight i'm not good at hoi four but I have a 45 or 4700 hours, somewhere around that range. Just because this game is very addicting. I don't know if it's like late stage autism or whatnot, but I just can't fucking stop playing Hoi. It's a problem. Someone please send me like a, a psychologist or something. I need some help. As you can see right there, we capped and annexed the Free Syrian Army. So my main strat I used for beating Syria here in this scenario is you just like uh, grab all your units and you just push into the enemy because it's not really balanced because <laughs> Bashar's government just has a bunch of APCs fucking like mechanized divisions tanks and the rebels don't really have anything they just have like militia and infantry so if you just like get your planes up start doing a bunch of cast and then uh, send in your tanks and mechanized to push on the enemy then you're bound to win this civil war very easily like you can see it's February 2017 I'm already halfway into fucking Iraq all right very easy civil war all right next question we've got is why did you choose to record hoi 4 i'm guessing this question means why did i choose to make a hoi 4 channel and the answer is uh i've always kind of liked editing and making videos right but i've never been that good at it so hoi 4 wasn't the first thing i tried making i'm gonna be completely honest the first thing i tried making was like i don't even fucking remember, like call of duty or probably some anime shit knowing me Right, and I, uh, I'm not even that into anime, for, let the record show, alright? But, uh, <laughs> that's cope. But, uh, yeah, I decided to make a Hoi 4 channel because I was like, well, I like, uh, I like Hoi 4, I like playing Hoi 4, but I fucking hate watching Hoi 4 videos. So, you know, I might as well try to make what I would consider to be watchable Hoi 4 videos. And, I mean, I'd say I'd succeeded, you know, I'd say I've been uh, successful in that endeavor, I mean gotten to up to 5,000 subscribers which is a lot of people and I get like decent views on my videos so overall great success in my uh, quest to start a YouTube channel also second question is why did I choose the name Hansen and this is gonna be a bit of a simple answer but uh, that's my middle name so when I came to making a YouTube channel I didn't want to use my first name and I didn't want to have to come up with something so I just said, fuck it, I'll use my middle name, and that's how you get handsome. Alright, and the next question we've got is, are there more doors or wheels in the world? And I think there's more doors, honestly. Like, you can make a solid argument for wheels, because, you know, you have bicycles, and you have cars. But cars have doors. You know, at le minimum two doors per car. And also there's a bunch of houses and apartments in China that I'm assuming have doors. So yeah, there's probably more doors than wheels in the world. And as you can see in the gameplay, I'm very, really struggling to take Mosul. Uh, it took me like five or ten minutes to take Mosul. I don't fucking know why, honestly. Uh, it should have been easy, but I guess I'm just shit at the game, and it took me a while to take Mosul. That's probably going to be the hardest part of the Civil War for me, is Mosul. Alright, and the next question we've got is, how was your life at May 8th, 1945? And look, we don't talk about that, alright? We don't talk about that certain incident, just like we don't talk about the uh, 2001 incident or the 1973 incident, alright? We just don't talk about it. We don't worry about it. The past is past, alright? The past is past. It's already happened. And as you can see, I'm pulling back from the front line and I'm about to start requesting fuel from a bunch of friendly countries. And this is because uh, as Syria, you don't get fucking fuel, alright? Whenever people tell you that the US is intervening in Syria for fuel, for oil, that's bullshit. There's no oil in Syria, according to Hoi4. And uh, as you can see, I put my nine tank divisions to attack Mosul. And uh, the thought behind that is, well, less divisions means more organization in the battle. I don't know if that's true, but it started working. As you can see there, big green bubble, big cast support. 
and uh, we're getting fuel from fucking everybody, so we can keep the cast going a bit longer, and, whoa, we won the Civil War. Yeah, there's a pretty easy Civil War. Mod devs, please start working on the 2017 scenario again, instead of adding useless shit to the 2000 scenario. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, should you play Millennium Dawn? And the answer is, uh, no you shouldn't. You know, Millennium Dawn used to be fun, but with all the updates they've been doing recently, like all they've been adding is useless features that serve no purpose other than overcomplicating the game and making it run like ass. Not to mention that the focus trees are way too fucking big, and you don't get any expansion! I understand that the devs want you to play until the 2040s, but having a focus tree with 50 million fucking 70 day focuses doesn't make me want to play the game longer. It makes me want to go do something else, you know, I could like go outside, go to the fucking gym or some shit. Not to mention that for some fucking reason the only countries that have been getting focus trees recently are like stupid ass islands that can't do anything instead of, you know, regional powers like South Africa, Argentina, or Australia. And on top of all that, major powers like Japan, the UK, and France haven't gotten their focus trees updated in fucking years at this point. I swear to god, they have the same focus trees they had back in like 2018 when I started playing this mod. While Bosnia and the fucking Camaros have focus trees. Oh, what the fuck is the Camaros gonna do? You know, overall I gotta give Millennium Dawn a 4 out of 10. It's a mod with a lot of potential, but unfortunately it gets boring after about an hour of doing nothing but building factories and raising taxes. That doesn't mean I'll stop playing it though. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and consider joining my Patreon where for as little as a dollar a month, I post teasers for new videos I'm working on, uh, weekly updates, video progress, I post a ton of shit on Patreon, and you also get access to the Patreon-only Discord server, All right? So, you know, if you want that, dollar a month on Patreon. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you around. I roll the Haruher.